Hey guys, at BV Matson here and kind of trying to figure out which direction I want to go with the exhaust. And I thought it would be a great opportunity to talk about a couple of the differences that you may run into on your CB or CL350 header pipes, okay? There's some differences and uh, I want to go through those today. Now I've got two sets of CL. Well, I've got <laughs> kind of. I've got like one and three quarters <laughs> sets of CL pipes, but it doesn't matter because we're really only going to be talking about these areas on the pipes. So let's get to it. So when I was building my first bike, I ran into a real conundrum and it turned into a bit of a puzzle because if you look real close on the end of these header pipes, these aren't early style. These are actually off the 68, but it was 68 through 70, I believe, because my 70 had a very thin collar like this. It's very, very thin. And then if you go a little bit newer, can see that they really beefed up the ends of these pipes. Now, I didn't know that there was even a difference at all. So I had some problems with the ends of my collar here on my header pipe. And uh, I just ordered some other ones and they came like this. And uh, boy, I tell you what, it sent me into a, <laughs> a learning process or a discovery process because I had to kind of make this stuff work. So the problem I was having is that on these thin edged header pipes, they tend to crack. Look at this. This is the original pipe off my 1970 CB350. See how close I can get here, but you can see that the pipe actually cracked. It, got, it, it just, they fall apart. And I've seen a few of them this way. Um, on the bikes that I've been working on. So that was the problem. And I had to replace the header pipes, all right? So I just, you know, found a source and I ordered some header pipes, not knowing about this huge difference. But the reason why these are thicker is because I think they beef these up because these were literally just breaking. They, <laughs> they would crack there. So on later models, they just started beefing those end collar or the, the ends of the pipes up. So you didn't have that problem. Just, uh, a little nuance <laughs> to pay attention to. Man, I remember being freaked out when I found these cracks in these pipes. One of the interesting things that I didn't know is that inside of here, we've got our collars, right? So these go onto here, just like that. And it all clamps together and pushes the pipe to the engine. Hopefully you understand that. It's actually in another video. I can link to that here. But on these thinner ones, this piece is actually a lot longer, okay? It's a lot longer. So let's put these next to each other here. Quite a bit longer, and that's because of this thicker end. So if you're, you know, missing some parts or you're trying to get things working, you're gonna have to account for these shorter flanges. I'm just gonna call them flanges. I'm sure somebody in the comments can tell me what the actual name is. So just for reference sake, let's measure these up and uh, you know see what the difference actually is. So if you have the older style pipes with the flat, really thin uh, edge on it, you're gonna wanna come to these. And this is gonna be 41.4 millimeters. Okay, that's your longer one for the older style, the 68 through 70. And then as you get a little bit newer, these flanges, or the, yeah, I'm gonna just call them flanges, 26.5 millimeters. That's a pretty big difference when you're trying to get this stuff to all pull together and go onto that engine. So a good reference for everybody. Um, you want the shorter ones if you got the newer pipes, the longer ones if you got the older ones. These pipes have a thicker end and they need that shorter flange while the old style, the 68 to 70 style, is gonna need these longer ones. And these longer ones are a real booger. But the problem that I had is that I just went to replace my pipes. I went to put on my pipes onto my 1970 CB, and there was no way they were gonna go because I didn't know that there was a huge difference in the length of these different flanges. So that's something to look out for. Now, there's really no difference from what I've seen um, with the, the with these main pieces. It all really comes down to the thickness of this and the length of these. So I wanted to make you guys aware of that. So there you go, quick little video. <laughs> there's differences, there's nuances to these motorcycles, all right? Some parts are thinner, some parts are thicker. 
<laughs> some parts are longer, some parts are shorter. It's just kind of the way it goes. Hope you found this video useful. If so, please subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up those videos that you enjoy. Also, if you haven't already, please sign up for the e-newsletter at keeponwrenching.com. And if you're really into this stuff and you want to join a community full of Honda motorcycle, vintage motorcycle people, come join Keep On Wrenching Community Group on Facebook. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching the video, and we'll see you in the next video or live stream.